You intro it? Am I intro? What's going on here? I don't fucking hear this. Is the intro right now. <laughs> We're here to drink some OCD number five. Hell yeah. I ordered this crap back in, I don't know, two months before I went to Kentucky, so I had to go pick it up. How the hell do I open it? Let's see here. Childproof. <laughs> like any other bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Hey, come on, just throw that over there. Get that out of here. It's an OCD number five, bottle 184, barrel 139. Proof is 105.4. Let's skip pop that cork. We just skip doing intros all together. That is the intro. <laughs> oh, you hear that? That motherfucker. I guess I can't say that word. You see what happens when that, he starts drinking? That sound bitch was tight. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> just uh, full full disclaimer we went to the Glens Creek, Glens Creek Distillery which is on the site of the Old Crow Distillery uh, when we were in Kentucky. And we initially had picked up this bottle, which Mr. Fish had ordered online for a distillery pickup. While we were there, the lady at the counter explained to us that she had a exceptional barrel of the same release. It was barrel 143, extremely high level bottle of bourbon that you can't get anywhere else apart from if you're at the distillery. So we have this one, we're cracking the 139 and uh, it's it's very, very good. We've already had it. It is uh, made with a yeast that Dr. James Crow had used and was discovered after 30 years of laying dormant and they decided to bring it back to life and distill some bourbon out of it. And this is the end result. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty fired up for this one. Yep, that's your educational service. Let's get this shit on the know. Mm. Oh my goodness. Ooh, yeah, that's, 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 that's some char. Oh, there's charred char barrel on there instantly. Oh, yeah. We did taste this at the distillery. Yeah, this is just little sips. If you ever been there, they give you them little micro sips. Tiny. Like point, point 0.25 of an ounce. Little, little tiny little thumbnail or what do they call them things? Thimbles. Thimbles, yeah, thimbles. I like a thimbles. But that lady there, nice as hell. I can't yeah. remember her name because, you know, I'm old. <laughs> First time he's admitted that. <laughs> I'm still a fat kid, though. <laughs> um, I mean, this is the second time we were there. First time we were there a couple years ago. I just turned down the damn wrong road leaving Castle Key. And uh, lo and behold, came to that distillery. We picked up a different bottle back then. Oh, good yeah. Oh, yeah. Curvito Vivo. Curvito Vivo. Yeah. Uh, we bottle tried that. 56. We tried that when we were there, too. And it 14. was 14. It was our favorite one we, out of the yeah. lineup we were given. Now, well, Mr. Dude signed it for us. Yep. I ain't cracked it. And I probably ain't going to. <laughs> so leave your damn hate comments and troll <laughs> things, whatever the hell y'all. <laughs> All for him, not for me. <laughs> you can leave him for me. I don't give a shit. Yeah, man. This is don't hurt my feelings. This is the creme brulee bourbon. I remember this now. This is this is the one that when I smelled it, I'm like, this. It smells like caramelized sugar and custard. Yeah, I get that. I yep. get that. Man, with a lot of tar and barrel. Oh, yeah, man. This is this is a cast strength. It is, isn't it? Um, I don't know if they do it's all a, cast. One hundred five point four. I don't, I don't know if sure. they just do cast strengths. I know they're all single barrel. I mean, if you're going to go down to 105.4, I mean, I'm not sure they proof it down to a points, but you never know. Mm. I have no idea. They, they didn't they didn't really give us the full backstory behind it. There's a there's a big thing on the back of it explaining about the distillery and their history and all that. Uh, we would have talked to the distiller dude. Uh, I think he was in a he was in a barrel tasting or something at the time. Yeah, he was, he was busy doing some important stuff. In yeah, there. So, so. We, we got to meet him the first time around. Second time around, he was a little busy. But uh, we'll probably swing by there in September when we're down there. Who knows what we'll do? I know we got barrel pictures. I'm coming everywhere. Out, so I know. <laughs> everywhere but nowhere. <laughs> I, I, I take up a lot of real estate, just so y'all know. 
Oh, man. <sighs> Ready to get this deliciousness down? Yeah, I'm going to put my pinky up for this one. Cheers. <sighs> yeah, I still get that. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of oak and char in that. Yeah, this is extremely oak forward. Oh, yeah. Heavy that's, on the barrel flavor. That's still good shit, though. There's a little, uh, there's a little tobacco y, leathery kind of note on the back end. Nice and sweet, but uh, the, the main note you're going to get off of this particular barrel is the barrel. Yeah, I'd say oak and leather. Yeah. Leather, tobacco. I mean, some of that sweetness does transfer, but it, it's it's kind of more like a it, it's more of a dry bourbon for me. You know what I mean? It, yes, very dry. Which again, man, I mean, variety is the spice of life, right? I mean, we we all love bourbon of uh, different recipes, different varieties, different distilleries. So we're always always open to try stuff that we haven't tried yeah. before because you just never know what you're gonna get. I got some thick ass legs on there. Mmm. You can be those like thick legs. Chicken delicious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Open it up a little yeah. bit. It's sweet. That's a fresh it's crack still, too. Yeah, it's still full on oak though, man. Whoo! I, I ain't mad about it either. I I I really, really kind of enjoy bourbons that deliver the same overall experience but yet give it a little kind of a unique twist to things. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good shit. I don't know. I like it a lot. It's definitely different than what we normally drink. That's that, that's the good part. You get some variety. Speaking well, yeah, of variety. Because, I mean, I'm, let's, let's be real, man. Most people's palates are easier trained towards these sweeter, you know, more vanilla, caramel-forward bourbons, which this still has some notes of it in there. It's just not as forward as some of the other, you know, distilleries and big name offerings. But this is definitely, if, if you are ever on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail and you are down by Woodford Reserve and Castle and Key, uh, I would absolutely recommend stopping by this distillery, man. The people are super, super friendly. They tell you all the history about the Old Crow Distillery leading up to it now being Glens Creek Distillery. And some of their bourbon offerings are exceptional, man, and very, very unique, but not in the sense where it's not finished in anything. It doesn't go off profile too much, but it just adds that kind of, you know, individuality to it that you don't get in a lot of the big name distillers. And they're all on the same road. You hit Woodford, Castle Key, right up around the corner, Glen Creek. It's beautiful down there, too, man. And then, then you just... Drive off in the nether worlds. Yeah, it'll actually take you clear up to Frankfurt if you want. So it, I think that's the way we went. It is the way we went. Yeah, so. Hey, we'll be back. I mean, that's, that's definitely on the stronger side of the Kern wine. <laughs> Kern wine. Yeah, see. It, it, selfish plug time. Kern wine t-shirt. Metalhead whiskey snob hats. That's good that's shit t-shirt. I haven't got a bitch juice cover. <laughs> I'm Johnny Fish, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I got a spokesman now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> selfish plug over. Let's move forward. It's good. It's good stuff. Get yourself a bottle. There's, if you if you can't get the one thirty nine that we got, definitely try and get the one forty three. They wouldn't stop I, chirping I, about that. I think that. the one forty three is sold out. Is it really? Yeah, I think so. Well, either way, try and get yourself a bottle of OCD number five. It does not matter what batch it is. I'm sure you'll find something enjoyable it about ain't it. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be damn good. And it's definitely apart from your super sweet. So it's that dry char. Yeah. It's, um, but, it's, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not sour. It's not. Not good. It's just expect something a little different. Expect a lot of barrel out of it. It's good shit. That's it what shit. it is. It's good current wine. Cheers. <laughs>